four, six, guys, we got B. This is one of my harder songs I do when I'm fully warmed up. Boy, all my high scores are gone too, because I had, all the songs exist in a different folder, but I created a favorites folder, and this the scores don't move with it. Okay, my high score is 92.5, which would be an A. I should try to twist on hard too. <laughs> I remember being ridiculous. I played it on medium just now, but. I think I struggled to even finish this one. choked on my water real bad. Oh god. DDR is dangerous. I love when a level has big patches of fast arrows. It's just the funnest to me. But it's like almost all fast arrows. I mean it's still so fun. It's just hard to finish. I was gonna do some art today, but I'm not really feeling it and I still don't know what to do. I'm gonna brainstorm a bit today, I think, and start something tomorrow. I'm in the mood where I wanna just stare out the window. I wanna do nothing and just stare <laughs> out the window, but I need to do something at least semi-productive. I think I will clean up this room today because it's still in a bit of a state post shop update and Christian's station is still here. So every time I go to the computer, I have to duck under this light, <laughs> make my way around. And it's time to just, you know, put that away, clean up. I gotta sweep up a bunch of crank and just, you know, there's, there's like that box can be broken down. The garbage can be brought up and this and that and just tidy up. First, I kind of want to mess around with my Croc Mega Crush sandals. I showed them in a previous vlog, and the back strap is loose, so I need to take a hair dryer to it to shrink it down, and I want to add some charms. So I'm going to do that. Because the weather is warming up, even though it did snow this morning, which, by the way, it's now melted. It's gone, yes! <laughs> but yes, the weather's warming up, and so I need to prep the sandals. Okay, first let's demo this sandal before I shrink it. And I'm wearing black socks, yay. Let's get black fuzz all over my white Crocs. So, the strap falls down. So we're gonna shrink it a little bit. People online say five minutes per strap with a hairdryer, so let's try that. Hold on, let's get a timer going. E -e -e. <laughs> it feels so soft and squishy when it's warm. <laughs> Not done five minutes, I've done like one and a half. And you can see how much it's shrunk already. I don't think I need a full five minutes. Okay, it's been a bit of a process. I did end up doing five minutes on each strap and I accidentally shrunk the top strap for one of the shoes because I could feel it getting warm and I was trying to avoid it, but one of them did shrink and so I had to reheat it to stretch it back out. And right now they're cooling. So the thing about shrinking this back strap though is it can't go on top. Usually Crocs, you can kind of swing them up 
and this strap will sit on top of this one. But I need this one shrunken, so I can't really wear it in this style unless I leave this right here, which would probably dig into my foot, but I plan on wearing it strapped all the time anyway, so I don't mind that I can't swing it up. So I'm gonna let it sit for a while just to make sure it's fully cool before I shove my foot back in because I don't wanna stretch out the strap. Okay, I blasted this shoe one last time. It just felt a little looser. So, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> We're finally moving on. This has taken way longer than I thought so far. So let me show you what I have for charms. So originally I purchased two pairs of these, one white, one black, but then the black ones they said were actually out of stock and so they couldn't send it to me. And I had ordered a lot of charms and now that I only have one pair of shoes, I really have too many charms. <laughs> And I only have two of the four I've ordered because these ones were from Amazon and the two I ordered from Etsy both had stuff go wrong. So the first one that arrived, it was completely the wrong set of charms. So I have these little Sanrio ones. <laughs> and then these are just colorful little pearl type ones. So I probably won't be using any of that. Uh, so they're sending me the correct ones, and then the other one, which are my favorites, they're little daisies. They made it to Canada, and then I got marked as having the wrong address and was returned to sender. And I'm like, no, the address was correct. So they're resending it, but I don't have them yet. But I figured let's just decorate with what we have for now, and I can always swap some out for the daisies. So I can already see some of the ones in here are kind of tarnished looking, but... Those seem to be the long strands, which I don't really plan on using. Whoa. Oh my God, I kind of forgot what some of these looked like. So yeah, there are these long ones, which well, I don't even know if you could put them back here. Maybe they're for up here, but yeah, I do not plan on using those. I got some cute charmers though. I could steal those and use those for something else. So yeah, well some of these have the black bits because these were gonna be for the black shoes. So set those aside. <laughs> now some of these would work really well for the white ones. I love all these bee ones. You look how cute. A little star with a star inside of it. <laughs> some little flowers. These gemstones are probably not good to use. And this is kind of just big. Chanel number five. So here's what we're working with. I don't think I'll use this rose. It looks weird. Some of them are kind of cream colored while others are white. Uh, it's okay. Now for the beige ones. I know the butterfly is what I was most excited about for these ones. Way too big. <laughs> oh, so cute though. Look at the butterfly. Okay, these are also pretty cute. I don't know if I want that. Like I could put it on the back. I just feel like these are a bit too much and they take up so much space that I would then not have room for other little doodads. Are these holes too small though, I wonder? Cause like these have bigger holes in the back and I don't know if that's cause I shrunk it or it was already like that. What the, okay, this. This is massive. It's big dangly. <laughs> Another one of there was, oh. This one also has a ballerina, just a different type. Ooh, oh, I love this. And this one's kind of cute. And yeah, I think I mostly like the butterflies in this. I wish there was a second one of these. This one's great. So that's what we're working with for now. Three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven front holes. I mean, that is kind of cute. How are you supposed to do this? Just brute force it in? I feel like I'm gonna break it. And these are kind of big. I feel like these big ones need to be up here. Butterfly on the side where it's most visible, maybe. I'm gonna break the charm. Oh I'm gonna break a nail doing this. They're so long right now. <laughs> I better be real sure about where I'm putting these in because it's gonna be real hard to get them out. <laughs> what about when my daisies come? <laughs> See, I don't even know 
if the back is meant for these because some of them have hooks and I feel like the hooks are meant to go on the back strap because it's a smaller hook. Just heat it up with a hairdryer again and just stretch it apart and stick it in. Wait, is there not another one? <gasps> Are you kidding me? These are the only two bees like this and they're different sizes. So the two shoes are not gonna be identical, but I guess it's okay. Oh my God, I don't know why the butterfly was so hard. Maybe just the shape, maybe it had a different backing. I don't know, but the, the next three went in very easily. <laughs> this one's got icky looking edges, so Maybe that'll be one of the ones that gets removed when I get the daisies. I hope I end up liking this in the end. Like, they also would just look good plain, you know. Maybe I need a second pair of white that stays plain. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Now that I'm back to recording, I'm struggling again. Okay. E -e -e. This one's pokey, it's digging my fingers out. <laughs> okay, here they are. <laughs> I probably could force some into the back because the back is pretty stretchy, but I think I'm gonna leave that plain. Ta -da! So they're pretty similar, except for some of the charms are only one of. So these two are different on each shoe. But other than that, they're the same. Close-ups, do, 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 Cool. Oh my God. I should not be filming my toes right now. There's like sock fuzz under my toes. <laughs> I haven't painted them in so long and yeah, but look at that. <gasps> How cute. <laughs> so chunky. <laughs> And comfy. These are definitely comfier than the Brooklyn sandal, also by Croc, because this doesn't have any stretch to it, well, very little stretch. And so as you step forward, it kind of digs into the top of the foot. I've been stretching them out. I took the cup out of this one. I think this one needs a little more stretching. So, um, Yeah, I haven't worn these since I got them in Vegas because it's been winter here, but soon with the nice weather and such. Just look how cute. So comfy, oh my God. And I can't feel the charms at all when I'm wearing it. The gibbets are comfy, yeah. I mean, I figured they had to be, otherwise why would people decorate their Crocs? But I'm just so happy. I'm thrilled, yes! Okay, now I need to finally go downstairs and do some tidying. So, peeling the sticker off my new garbage can and I realize it's supposed to have a lid. I mean, I don't want a lid on it. So maybe that's for the best because it would have just cluttered up the house. I got two of them because they're gonna go under here. I've been using that for trash, but that's actually the holder for bags for putting completed orders into. So, I mean, I guess I could leave, I could leave that until I'm done cleaning. Leave it on here. Cause there's a lot more room in here. It looks full, but it's not. And then I can have one for trash, one for recycling. I'm gonna vacuum all this. What is, where did that come from? Ew, is that from the bottom of my wheels of my chair? Yuck! And I had a bunch of crank stuff everywhere. <laughs> these, these are the straps that come around the boxes and they make good baby toys. Yes, they do. Uh, fun fact, I still have tape on the wall from when I did the gallery wall video and I ran the ethernet cable. <laughs> Why? Why am I like this? The whole wall is still taped like, the entire way across. So one thing I want to do is move all these boxes out of here and put them under the staircase. So I cleared a spot the other night under here. 
Lilies. So there's all these wooden planks, like the hardwood pieces. And so I've just laid them as flat as I can and I can stack the boxes on top of it. And this will be where they live. So I have this light over here shining in. Although this light has seen better days. Look at it. It's got dead lights. It's got flickering lights. Ugh, tragic. First though, I should restock the packing station. Okay, the boxes are all out. Even the ones that were out here are now under the stairs and it's kind of a disaster <laughs> because these ones started falling over and so I had to slide the shelf over to prevent them from falling forward. And so I was gonna put more boxes in front but instead the shelf is there and I put these brown ones here. Now I probably shouldn't have this many of one box type folded in advance unless it's an upcoming shop update and I know I'm gonna need a lot of a certain one but I had too many folded for the last update and then for this shop update I wanted a different size folded and Krishna accidentally did this one so we have a lot of that it's too deep and all the way into the ceiling I even had to turn some upside down so they would fit and we don't have that many of that size there this is a different one this is the rectangle that one's the square and then this square <laughs> this rectangle i think i used only two of these in my last shop update so i didn't think this was too many to fold but i guess it was <laughs> and the ones up here aren't sticking out too much so that's looking good i feel like here would be a good crinkle paper refill station i could fit both side by side and still have room for the easel but all this stuff's gonna have to go which i wasn't totally sold on anyway that was kind of a temporary solution so I'm okay moving this. The problem is a lot of that stuff is too tall to go on top of the shelves, so I'm not sure what I'll, where I'll put it all, but <laughs> I think the crank will go here. Maybe not today, because I don't want to deal with that, but a project for another day. I just had a thought for the taller stuff. Staircase ledge. <laughs> Well, here's the room, looking a lot cleaner. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the next day. I just packaged up about 20 orders and I wanna work on art and I still don't know what to do. So I think I just have to get started. Also look at the pond. The pond almost looks not real. It's snowing again and it's melting on the ground but not on the pond. So it's just pure white. <laughs> Doesn't that look weird? It's just pure white and then no white anywhere else. But yeah, I'm gonna just draw something. Will it just be studies? Will it just be something small? I don't know. I still wanna do my next big illustration, but will an idea come to me? I don't know, so we'll just see. 
where today goes. I'm taking a walk down memory lane, scrolling through here. <laughs> I miss this, um, this one. I don't think I have this anymore because it was a layered 3D artwork and it looked so good. Like, oh, it turned out so nice and it just kept slowly falling apart. And I don't even remember what happened to it. I must have gotten rid of it. It exists now, only in my video. This one's so stupid, but like, this is my kind of stupid humor. <laughs> she can't hear you. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, I was doing the Met Gala looks, but I never did turn that one into a final art piece. Facebook. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> this one I totally forgot about. Untitled Blue Gray Guy is what I said. Yeah, Untitled Blue Gray Guy. Santa. And then the reference <laughs> photo of Christian. I love these Rugrats ones. The art I did for the Rugrats zine. So first I was drawing them normally and then I was trying to stylize them and this isn't the final version. I took it this far in Procreate and then I took it into Photoshop to do the shading, which ended up not actually getting printed. And they, I think they briefly made it available as a PDF and then that was it. So nothing really came of that. Well, not much anyway. And there's me as a Rugrats character for the artist page. Oh, good times, good times. This I don't, I don't consider finished. I feel like it needs texture in the background, but again, it's something I should take into Photoshop, I think. Like there's things you can do in Procreate, but I just refuse to do because I hate doing it all on touch screen. I'm like, just give me my regular computer with keyboard, give me Photoshop. Like, everything's just way easier in Photoshop compared to Procreate. I got my tomato crispy knees loaded. Alrighty, so I ultimately decided to do bunny with flowers in the background, which is kind of similar to my idea that I did in the recent oil painting where I did a bunny and I was gonna do flowers in the background, but I kind of changed it up and it ended up not being anything like this, but sort of piggybacking off that same idea and I was suddenly in the mood to draw tulips, I guess. And so I was like, let's draw some tulips around a bunny. So it's not, you know, not the next big full color illustration, but it's still a full color illustration. And so it's not quite what I had envisioned. I, I kind of wanted something that was like the little duckies, but part two, that kind of style of illustration. But this is close enough. Like this is just, it's something I came up with and I'm actually very excited to work on this because I want to do uh, lots of layering with pencil. I think it'll be mostly marker and pencil and then can kind of go from there. If I need to add details in gouache or something, I can. But yeah, and I was trying to figure out the colors because I want it to be a little pastel-y, but a little bit muted. So it might even be more muted than this color blocking I did because this is just flat color too. But yeah, I just have different color tulips and some of the leaves in the background. And then I want the tulips to fade into the background so there'll be faded tulips behind the tulips and faded leaves. That's the idea anyway. And I swapped the bunny's bow and dress color at the last second. So it was supposed to be a shirt under the dress, like a pinafore. Uh, but then I switched it up to just be bunny bare arms because I didn't want to add in an extra color. And I think I'll just extend the, the shoulders of the sleeves a little bit. Just extend it a little so it covers the shoulders, maybe, and <laughs> go from there. So I've got the sketch here. It's clean enough that I think I can just print it off and trace right over it onto a piece of paper. I mean, I probably could just trace directly off my iPad screen if I'm careful not to move it, but I think I will print it off. Yeah, my screen brightness is maxed and I can barely see through a regular sheet of paper. So once I add something thicker, it's gonna be a problem. So just print it off and use my Cricut. I brought these out because I thought this would be a good bunny reference just to stay on model slightly, even though I swear every time I draw bunnies, they look completely different. Ma'am, you've gotten way too many pets already today. I've been petting you nonstop. Why do you need some more attention, hey? Why, baby, why? I would use mixed media paper if I had any. Other than these little ones. I've got two tiny sheets. Maybe I should order some right now. I keep telling myself I'll go to an art store and I just still haven't gone. So maybe I should just order online. 
I might use this cold press watercolor paper. I could do Bristol if I want the smoother finish. This is more textured. I kind of want the texture, honestly. Let's give it a try. It's gonna soak up all my marker ink. <laughs> okay, print. What do you think, Kiki? Yeah, that's a good size. I could get a lot of texture detail in with it being this big. So let's carry on, I guess. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on with pencil, using this as reference to see what color outline which area should get. And um, yeah, just do a light outline. So for the voiceover, I'm going to tell a little story that I forgot to tell at the start of the vlog because it happened before I started filming this vlog because on the weekend I was packaging orders. I had about 70 to do and since pickups would be on Monday, I figured let's package them on Sunday. Then Monday morning, I just package up whatever came in overnight and then I'm good to go for the pickup and I'm ready because it's a lot of orders. I want to be ready. And so... I go down and I package up the first one and I go to buy the shipping label and ShipStation tells me there is a Canada Post billing issue. That was the error message. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so I go to my Canada Post account because I can log in online, see my dashboard. It's where I go to pay invoices. And I had just gotten an invoice the day before. And so I paid it off. But the problem is, you're allotted a certain amount of credit with Canada Post. So when you go to buy a shipping label, you're not paying for each label individually. They'll let you get a bunch of them and then they'll send you an invoice to pay for them in bulk. So you pay for them later down the road and they allow a certain amount of credit for your account and you can't get more labels than that. And so my credit limit's $7,500 and my invoice was for $9,800. So they already let me go above and beyond my credit limit and they sent it all in one invoice. And even though I'd paid it, it hadn't processed yet. It was still showing as processed on my account and then I had zero available credit to use. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, what am I supposed to do? And it's Sunday. Like they're not open on Sundays. I even checked for their, their call line to call them and no, just Monday through Friday, which makes sense. But I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> so, <laughs> I just packaged the order still, but didn't purchase labels for them. I printed off letter mail labels because I have a little, a little label I can print off in Shopify and I just modified it so my return address isn't on it. And so I would just slap that on each box just so I know which is which because I could quickly write down the order number or something, but I feel like that's prone to error. I'd rather have full name and address there, at least full name, you know, um, so that's the way I did it, and then the next day rolled around, and I wake up, and the first thing I do is hop out of bed, and I open everything up on my computer, and I call Canada Post, and it was a little interesting. So first, the lady's like, why is your account marked as being a sale? And I was like, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. And she says, yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm like, Okay. <laughs> And she keeps going on. I'm explaining the issue. And she says, you're paying your invoices early, like way too early. And I'm confused. I just say, well, I, when I get the invoices, I pay them. She's, she's just baffled. Like, you're paying them 21 days early. <laughs> and I'm just saying, well, I'm not going to wait till the due date to pay them. You know, I don't want to go past the due date. They send me an invoice. I pay it. Plus, I don't want to clog up my available credit. To free up credit, I pay off the invoices right away, right? And she was just still so confused about that. <laughs> But anyway, she was able to manually unblock the account because she couldn't expedite the payment or anything, but she could just take off the block my account had so I could buy labels again. And so then it was fixed and I could buy the labels, which still took a little while, but I had to weigh all the packages, select the box size and then print the labels. But that's how I got around that problem. Might not be the most interesting story, but this is the kind of stuff I love hearing. I love the nitty gritty details of running a business because most people don't talk about that kind of stuff because it's not something that would come up in a Q&A or anything like that. And so 
I just like to share these stories as they come across. I don't know. It's just very specific and I like specifics. I still don't know why they let me go over my credit limit and I might have to apply for more credit in the future because if they're only going to send me an invoice once a week or so, I can definitely hit that limit within a week as I've learned. So I don't know. I don't know. I might have the same issue in the future, but just keep figuring it out as I go. So that's my little story and here's my little bunny art so far anyway. I hope you enjoyed these close-ups. It really shows off all the texture and I just think the pencil looks so good on the watercolor paper. Yeah. Okay, it's the next morning. It's Friday. It is snowing yet again. Why? 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 I'm ready for spring, please. And speaking of spring, this is looking very springy and oh, I'm loving how it's turning out so far. I just... I'm having so much fun just slowly working up the pencil texture and yeah, it's not gonna get finished in this video though. I started filming this vlog on Wednesday and it's now Friday. This is like my very last chance to edit this vlog, but I guess I just wasn't in the filmy mood earlier in the week. Some weeks I'm just like blah, blah, blah. I can't stop talking and I've got two vlogs and they're long and other times I'm just like, hi, I'm not feeling talkative. <laughs> And this is one of those weeks I don't really feel talkative, but I do plan on having a Wednesday video this coming week. I'll finish off this artwork in that video so you don't have to wait too long because we're leaving it on a cliffhanger. I got to do some editing and stuff, but there's progress. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Mm -hmm.